Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to tackle one of the most common misconceptions about space, gravity. You've probably heard the idea that astronauts feel weightless in space because there's no gravity up there, right? It seems to make sense at first, but that's actually not true at all. So in this video, I'm going to explain why gravity does exist in space and why astronauts feel weightless, even though they're still very much under the influence of gravity. Let's dive in and debunk this popular myth once and for all. First of all, yes, gravity exists in space. This is one of the biggest misunderstandings people have. Gravity doesn't just stop when you leave Earth's surface. It extends far out into space. Think about it. What do you think makes the moon orbit around the Earth? Or the planets orbit the sun? It's gravity. All of these massive objects are held together by gravitational forces. Without gravity, the moon wouldn't stay in its neat orbit around Earth. It would just fly off into space. The same goes for the planets. If gravity didn't exist in space, our entire solar system would just collapse. Satellites, too. Think about them. These are man-made objects that we send up into space, and they stay in orbit around the Earth. Why? Because Earth's gravity is still pulling on them. Gravity doesn't suddenly vanish when you get to space. It weakens the farther you go from Earth, sure, but it's still very much present. For example, the International Space Station, ISS, orbits Earth at an altitude of about 400 kilometers. At that height, gravity is still about 90% as strong as it is on Earth's surface. So, why don't things like the ISS just fall back down to Earth? This brings us to the next part of the explanation. The key concept here is free fall. To understand why astronauts feel weightless, we need to talk about something called free fall. Imagine you're in an elevator and suddenly the cables snap. For a brief moment, both you and the elevator are falling at the same speed. During that fall, you'd feel weightless because there's nothing pushing up against you. The same principle applies to astronauts in space. They're in a state of continuous freefall. But here's the twist. Instead of falling straight down to Earth, they're falling around it. This is where the concept of orbit comes in. How does orbit work? Imagine standing on a mountain and you throw a ball forward. Normally, the ball would follow a curved path and eventually hit the ground. But what if you could throw that ball really, really fast? Fast enough that as the ball falls, the Earth curves away beneath it. If the ball is moving at just the right speed, it would keep falling, but it would never hit the ground. It would keep falling around the Earth. This is what we call an orbit. The same thing happens with the ISS and other objects in space. The ISS is moving at an incredible speed, about 28,000 kilometers per hour. Because of this speed as it's being pulled toward Earth by gravity, it keeps missing Earth and stays in orbit. This is why the astronauts aboard the ISS are constantly falling around the Earth, but never crashing into it. They're in free fall, and that's why they feel weightless. The physics behind orbits and free fall. Now, let's go a bit deeper and explain what's happening from a physics perspective. When something is in orbit, like the ISS, there's a balance between two forces, the force of gravity pulling it toward Earth, and its forward motion, or velocity, that tries to move it in a straight line. These two forces, gravity and the forward speed, create a stable orbit. This is known as centripetal force, which is what keeps objects moving in a circular path. So, the ISS is constantly falling toward Earth, but because of its high speed, it never actually hits the ground. This creates that sensation of weightlessness for astronauts inside the ISS. Since the ISS, the astronauts, and everything else on board are all falling at the same rate, there's no sensation of gravity inside the station. Why don't astronauts feel the pull of gravity? Some people might ask, if gravity is still acting on the astronauts, why don't they feel it? The answer lies in how we perceive gravity. On Earth, we feel the force of gravity because the ground pushes back against us, creating the sensation of weight. When you're in orbit, you're in free fall, and there's no ground pushing back against you. Everything around you is falling at the same rate, so you feel weightless. 
even though gravity is still acting on you. A common analogy is the elevator example I mentioned earlier. If you're inside a falling elevator, both you and the elevator are falling at the same rate, so you feel weightless. In space, it's the same idea. But instead of falling straight down, astronauts and their spacecraft are falling around Earth in a continuous orbit. So why doesn't the ISS eventually fall to Earth? It might seem like if the ISS is constantly falling, it would eventually crash into Earth, right? Well, that would be the case if it were moving slower. The trick is that the ISS is moving forward so fast that as it falls, the Earth's surface curves away beneath it. It's the perfect balance of speed and gravitational pull. This is why the ISS remains in orbit rather than plummeting to the ground. Let's summarize to clear up this misconception. Gravity absolutely exists in space. It's weaker the farther you go from Earth, but it's still present and responsible for keeping the moon, planets, and satellites in orbit. So, the next time someone tells you that there's no gravity in space, you'll know the truth. Gravity is very much at work out there. And thanks to this fascinating phenomenon, we get to experience the wonders of space exploration, satellites, and more. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped clear up some of the confusion around gravity and space. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe.